Hi best buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I am so happy that you joined me today. Today we're going to make paper flowers for our junk journals. But first, let's do a shout out to Ricky, Joyce, Nancy, Michelle, Susan, Kay, Patty, and Stacy. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys, we're not going to make the we're not going to we're not going to make. <laughs> We're going to make these really cute little flowers, and they're flat, and that's what I really like about them. And we're going to make them with individual petals, and that's what these are, individual petals. So you can use your papers that you're making your junk journal right now out of, so it will blend and match. You can use scrap papers. You could use book pages. Whatever your heart's desire, you can use. So how do we start? We start by getting a piece of hard file folder or cardstock. And we're going to use some kind of um, dark marker, a Sharpie, a permanent marker, something that's very dark. And we're going to have to make our petals. Now, the bigger the petal, the bigger the flower. So just make the shape of a petal something like that. You could make it fat like this if you want. Just experiment and see how you want your petal to look. Okay, so then of course you're going to need to cut them out. So these are the ones that I've been working with. You can tell that they're <laughs> they've got extra ink on them. So you want to get your paper, I'm going to just select this one right here, and on the front side of the paper is where you want. You don't want to do it on the back, you want to do it on the front. And I'm going to take this bigger one just because it'll be easier to see, you won't see my fingers, you'll be able to maybe see what I'm doing. And you take your pen and go ahead and trace around this petal just like this, trace around the petal and just do a whole bunch. I like to do at least eight of the same color, same size. I find that eight makes a very nice flower. So that's why I say eight, but you can make as many as you want. Okay, so you've, you draw. And you do that's what I like to do is I like to take these like sit watch on while well, I'm watching the TV and just put a whole bunch of petals on my page and set that aside and get another color and do all those till I have like three or four and then I can sit there and I can cut them out individually that's how I like to do it okay so you cut these out I'll set this aside so you have all your petals or you have lots of petals and they're cut out like this. They look like this. Now this one I have gone back through and I have cut, well not cut, I have drawn the line a little darker. You can see that this line is dark around the petal whereas this line is not dark and this one is kind of wonky. All right I like to do it like this. I like them to be dark because what it tends to do is once you put your flower together it makes the flower pop is what I'd like to say. So all you have to do is get yourself a scratch piece and take your petal and your pen and just go back around the petal. If you use a little fatter marker, I think it might go a little faster for you. But this is the one I had handy, so I've been using this one. Plus, it's juicy. So, so just draw around. Of course, you're going to do the, all the colors, but this one might show up a little better, is what I was thinking, for the camera. And you just go around each petal. Okay, so now let's put one together. So let's, mm, which one have I, I've done this one, 
I've done, I made this one darker. I might have to make one of these darker. I'm going to put y'all on hold. I'll be right back. I'm going to draw around. Um, I don't know which color I want. I don't. It'll be a surprise. How about that? Okay, you guys. I have drawn around these, and these are ready to make into a flower. So what you're going to need is a base. So I have my punches here, and the bigger the punch, the bigger the circle, the bigger the, for the bigger the flower. So this is kind of a medium flower. So I'm going to use this medium punch. I have um, a small, small. I have a big, and this is the medium. And I'm going to choose the medium. And we just lay that down. You don't have to do anything special to that. Then what I'd like to do is I like to put glue on my base. And then I like to lay down my flowers. So you just begin. I like to begin at the top. And the further you put them in, the bigger your flowers, the smaller your flower is going to be. So if I pushed all that in, it's going to be smaller, a smaller flower. So I like to start by making this shape right here. This is what I like to start with. And then I like to go in and put one, I'm going to add a little bit more glue on the petal itself. And I like to go in between now like this, go in between these petals that I've laid down, mm -hmm. just like that. It's looking good, isn't it? And you give it a little push. It will raise the petals up just a little bit when you do that. There we are. Now, you can stop here. You can say, oh, that's all I want. I just want to do that. Then you can choose to put something in the center. You could put something like this in the center. You could put something like this in the center. You could put some eyelash yarn in the center. You could put um, you could put a small circle in the center. You could do that. Sky's the limit, whatever you choose. Or you can continue on. And you'll take your smaller size. So you made your you make your petals in different sizes. These are the sizes that I have. So different sizes so that you can go ahead and add another layer of petals. So just similar in the same way. I like to kind of go in between what the space is between the first layer. I like to go in between that space. It got gets kind of off as you get going, which is fine. But I start off that way. And we just lay them down. Give it a push. Just like that. Isn't that turning out beautiful? Now you can just put a center on here. You could do a center like this. Or you could do, let's see, what are we going to do for this center? Um, do I have anything that's going to... I kind of like this eyelash stuff. Let's try it. So I'm going to add some glue into the center so I can attach my eyelash yarn. I'm going to look for a pokey tool. Some kind of pokey tool. Here we go. My pokey tool so my fingers don't get too gluey. Just poke that down on there. There we go. Now let's put a little something something in the middle. 
I've got rhinestones, I have flat back pearls, maybe, I don't know which one I'm going to like better. I'm thinking maybe the rhinestone. This might be tricky getting a little bit of glue on there. Nope, that wasn't hard at all. Now let's get this rhinestone on here. Come on now. Come on now. Oh yeah, that's what it needed. Needed a little extra pop on there. Let's pick this up so you can see it. Isn't that pretty? I made another one. Let me see. What did I do with that one? Here's another one that I made with um, music paper and some very pale pink printed paper. Oh, you guys, I had great fun. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. See you soon, guys. Bye now.